Hi everyone, Amy here with Amy's Wears and I have a super quick and colorful Gracias card to share with you today. So let's jump right in. Now I do have an older stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. It's called Crossword. It is a three by six and I am gonna work directly on a card base. This is a 110 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White. Here's a photo of the finished card. I'm so pleased with how this turned out um, and I'm so excited to make more cards like this in the future. So to mask off the rest of the card that I'm not going to be ink blending on, I'm going to use this two inch post-it tape. I do get this from Amazon, so I will link it below in the video description box with any of the other products that I used. I have a few colors from Katherine Pooler here. I have, um, let's see, polished, shea butter, and then I can't remember, sugared something or another. I don't remember what the purple is, but um, you can see my ink pads are extremely juicy. That's because I just um, refilled them. So they are crazy saturated, but they will kind of, you know, chill out with time. So um, I'm coming in kind of heavy handed. I really want it to be a bright pop of color. So I'm okay with the super pigmentation at this point. It's kind of deliberate. Um, if I didn't want that, I could obviously tap off my blending brush on another piece of paper, kind of like a, what I was doing, and then come in lighter handed. So here I'm just removing the stencil to reveal this awesome design. This would look really cool, um, vertical or horizontal orientation. At this point, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of just winging it <laughs> in typical fashion, but I am using some residual ink on my blending brushes just to kind of lay um, down some color on another scrap piece of white cardstock. And you'll see in a moment, I do end up using this um, to create the sentiment for the front of the card. Um, I do realize there's not quite enough color so I do come in with my ink pads and lay down more color and it is really splotchy and a hot mess you can see it's not a good blend at all um, but it does kind of stabilize as it dries it does flatten out a little bit but ultimately I'm just going to be die cutting out of this so it doesn't really matter that it's not perfect so I do have this gracias die it is the um, outer shadow layer as well as the inside you can see there's a thanks um, and a gracias so I'm actually just going to um, cut one layer out from the background shadow layer and one with the actual word gracias and initially I was thinking I was going to cut the gracias out of the ink blended portion and then use this light gray cardstock for the shadow but as you can see I decide here to switch it um, just because I want the background shadow layer to um, really stand off the background. So here I'm just using some mint tape and I will run these off screen through my die cutting machine. I did adhere them together. I used some micro dots to attach um, the gracias to the little shadow layer. And here I have some foam dots. I'm actually just using the little innards because, you know, why waste it? It's the same stuff as the dots. I'm just removing the backer and then slapping that down on the front of the card. At this point I realized I wanted to go horizontal orientation. So I apologize for the lighting. The sun was kind of coming in through my um, side window here, but I did add a little bit of blingage and that finishes the card. So super quick, easy, colorful and pretty, um, but still thin and easy to ship. So I hope you enjoyed this quick card idea. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I appreciate you so much. I'll catch you next time. Bye.